So I was out on the water the other day shooting some sales videos, and I came across a couple of guys sitting off to the side of the channel waving a waving a white T-shirt around, and um, saw several boaters just go right on by them, didn't give them a second look. And so I stopped, and, and uh, they needed a tow. The dewinterization, how to bring your boat out for the season, would have done these guys um, good to watch that before this day. But it was a Thursday afternoon. I was heading to um, to the spot where I wanted to, but I got them all tied up, and I wanted to just kind of talk you through this a little bit. You can see me pulling them, and, and I've sped the video up here a little bit so you didn't have to see just the, the monotony of pulling them. But when you're towing somebody, we talk about it in the free boater boot camp, is you need to go at a nice slow speed. I was just above idle, um, and then this is probably the most difficult part. As you get to where they're going, um, what I'm doing is I'm taking my, my secure knot off for pulling them that long distance. It was maybe a 15, 20 minute pull. And I'm now running it through the eye, but tying it off on the ski pylon with a different knot so I can more easily release them when I get them to the spot I want to release. If you also notice when I slowed down, I slowed down nice and easy so they didn't come and, and run it run up into me. You can see him up in the bow. He was very nervous about running into the motor. But when you slow down nice and easy and you do it gradually, you can slow them down and um, and then go back in gear, get that slack in there so that there's no issues. So now I've got it tied off through the eye um, and then off to the ski tow bar at a 90 degree angle. So the tow bar is not taking a ton of pressure but more pressure than I would want to do for the, the full 20 minutes of tow. But now as I get them, and I'm on the boat by myself, so I've got to do the timing just right, and the shore is right there um, off to the right. So now I've got an easy knot that I can untie, um, run it back through that hole, that eye on the back, and now what I'm doing is there the momentum was not enough to bring them into me, so I'm kind of pulling myself away from the shore, pulling them to me, so I can give him just one nice little push right to the dock. And, and he wants to push off with the with the oar, but I want to give a nice solid push and um, get him moving in that direction. There was a little bit, tiny bit of a current going downstream. Uh, the dam is, is up past us. And um, give him just a little bit of current and a little bit of a push, and, and he was able to paddle over, get tied up, and get back onto the trailer pretty easily.